For decades, Democrat politicians like Joe Biden have taken black voters for granted. They made you big promises before every election. And then the moment they got to Washington, they abandoned you and they sold you out. Came to my dad and I sat him down. I said, uh, look, dad, I was raised in a Christian household. You and my mother, they took me to church. I had to give Easter speeches and you went to work every day, dad, and you brought home the bacon. I need you to understand, father. I'm as conservative as conservative gets. Why am I as conservative as conservative gets? Because you raised me that way, dad. And I had to have this heart to heart from black son to black father. I had to look into my dad's eyes. I looked dead into my dad's eyes and I saw his heart break. His heart just broke because with all the liberal black bullshit that they speak into the fucking medium. The Democrat party used you and they lied to you every single time. You know it better than anybody else knows it. Dad looked inside himself. He said, oh, shit, son, I am a conservative. <laughs> the greatest American alive, motherfucker. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Being conservative ain't got nothing to do with being a Republican or no Democrat. Nigga, fuck a political party, especially those two political parties. Those political parties don't mean no good for the American person. They're not working on behalf of you, the greatest American alive. No, they're not. The greatest American alive. It takes a mama and a daddy to make a baby. You understand? It takes a mama and a daddy to make a baby. And if it takes a mama and a daddy to make a baby, I'm just saying quite possibly, just maybe, it should take a mama and a daddy to raise a baby, tell the truth, and get some power. What does it mean to be black in America? To be black in America, it should be being powerful. You understand? I want to go back and answer your question. So yeah. the, and what, one thing that we always speak when we when we speak to conservatives about is we have to stop believing in the solution that because somebody is black, they represent my interests. Mm -hmm. um, we learned that lesson via Barack Obama. I mean, he was in, in the White House for eight years and didn't do much for the black community. So I'm not interested in the color of people's skin. I don't need nobody to pander to me based on my color. I don't need nobody giving me good words because of the color of my skin i want some material goods nigga give me some motherfucking money you hear me <laughs> Some of you people are so disingenuous. I say disingenuous because it, it keeps me from saying a liar. I don't want to call you motherfuckers liars, but some of you niggas is lying your ass off out here. One more here because I, I, I did. I, I wanted to get to know you before you came on. Yeah. And I'm really interested in your perspective For because sure. I think you're a fascinating person. Thank you. There was another tweet that said the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Um, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, but, I want but why, would you, why would you ask me that? Well, let's get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African-American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often, is that in many ways, white liberals don't realize that you, you put on that, the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have. So you're are, saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. I was raised in the era of the big timers. Give me your project, chick. <laughs> One that don't give a what. <laughs> and say she took that <laughs> boy you know about bg you know about the big timers you know about this whole era of big cars and big rims and then donald trump comes out and says a platinum plan and you want to get sad we call it the platinum plan <laughs> platinum plan you want to get in your feelings. A white man said, I want to give you hundreds of billions of dollars. And you want to get in your feelings and say, you're a liar. <laughs> Create three million new jobs for the black community. <laughs> Open 500,000 new black owned businesses. Increase access to capital in black communities by $500 billion. Number 46 came and told you, if you don't get a medical procedure, you can't go to work. I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated or show a negative test at least once a week. Oh, 
code holy number 46 told you that if you don't get a procedure you cannot go to work these are facts tell the truth and get some power but the other guy number 45 he said it's all gonna blow over <laughs> it's a the china flu it's just why do you keep calling this the chinese virus why do you keep using this because it comes from it's china racist. it's not racist at all no not at all it comes from china that's why comes from China. I and want to be accurate. Yeah. It's all going to be over. This is what the man said, and you got mad at the man. The man said he wanted to give you $100 billion. You got mad at the man. The man said the platinum plan. We call it the platinum plan. Yes. Platinum plan. The platinum plan you got mad at the man oh my goodness tell the truth and get some power there is no such thing as a good president there are only good people who hold power accountable but we ain't holding power accountable do you know why we're not holding power accountable because the american citizen is the most powerful citizen that's ever existed in the history of the world and we're not holding ourselves accountable you the greatest american alive you're not holding yourself accountable you go along every day like la 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 la, la. i don't have no civic duties I don't have no civic responsibilities. I'm just going to walk around like a fucking airhead and not hold power accountable. I think that the president has my best interest at heart. Why in the hell would a billionaire give a shit about a person who makes less than $70,000 a year? Hey, the truth is, they don't. <laughs> I'm the baddest Trumpster that ever existed in the history of the planet because number one, I never voted for Donald Trump. And number two, I don't give a shit about a president. I only care about the American people and that's it. Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn ceiling, the greatest American alive, baby. You are the greatest American alive. And right now, the greatest American alive, the American people, we're in a class war. There is a war against the poor and the poor are not fighting back. Why won't the poor fight back? Because the poor won't even acknowledge that they're poor. Hey, I got a car and my car has a 28% interest rate but I'm doing just great. <laughs> hey, I got a house. My house has a 9% APR, but I'm doing just fine. I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. <laughs> Tell the truth and get some power. What does it mean to be an American citizen? It means to be the most powerful citizen that's ever existed in the history of the world. And it's time to be excited about this, man. Have an important conversation with someone that you love today. Look them square in the eyes and say, I have some conservative ideas. <laughs> it's going to be a tough conversation. There's going to be some tears shed. Tell the truth and get some power. We got to fight for freedom. And right now is not time to clutch our pearls. And be like, oh, my God, I'm so scared. Oh, my God, it's so hard. No, nigga, it's time to fight back against an oppressive system, huh? <laughs> it's time to stop thinking that a president is going to save our lives. It's time for you to save your own life, nigga. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive, motherfucker. <laughs> The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.